A girl was house-sitting in the apartment across from Will, and they talked on the porch for a moment. She was on her way to be with a friend of hers who had found God with a gang of born-agains, who told her there was no better way out of the difficulties of her life. Her friend was back in town to stay with her family and reform her. They had been partners in crime. I don't want to go see her. She blames me for her firm, former problems. What, just because you were both together and causing mischief, Will asked? Yeah, and she wants me to go in on God with her. Don't let her push that on you. If she's truly a friend, she shouldn't. God isn't for everyone and all the time. Still, she said, she's fragile now. She needs friends. I don't want to come down on her. Come down on her. She's your friend. If you're not coming down on her, you're going down on her. You don't go down on your friends, do you? Okay. What? The lizard woke up and they started to push each other around playfully. Partway down the stairs on the way to a diner, lizard accidentally pushed Will too hard and he fell. Landed on his shoulder on the landing below. Lizard helped him up and popped the shoulder out, shake it off, set his mind straight again, in return for a shoulder, dislocated. They hit the new wishbone diner and sat down outside on white chairs around a white table on a cement patio. The napkins were colorless. The waitress told them to hurry in order because the kitchen was about to close. She read off the specials colorless, not nearly the character the old wishbone had. You're in much better spirits than when I saw you last, Lizard said. Am I? I feel better. I'm not dwelling on it, I mean her, so much. Good. Helen and I are tight again, too. Really? She's a nice girl, Lizard said. Yes. Have you heard from the evil one? Cass? I could have broken the glass door between us the other night. I went to see her, to look at her. When I get furious, when I want to tear her apart, I think, she'll kill herself before I even touch her. Are you and Helen spending all your time together? Oh, we get together. You think maybe you should keep your distance, Lizard asked. What with Cass, she's frightening, all that jealousy, volatile. True, Will said, but I know she regrets what she did. Maybe that's why I stopped by her place the other night, to look her in the eyes and be sure she felt it, to be sure Helen would be safe. The wind was blowing. They used silver as paperweights on the table and... Below the table, Will's docksiders were empty, and the cool of the white cement came into his soles and up through his ankles. Why isn't she in jail? Lizard asked. I don't know. I mean, I, I had the weapon. That's probably why. It's still in process. Well, I'm glad you haven't taken the law into your own hands. You're all right, Will. Trust yourself. I don't know why you're not still in custody or why she's not in custody. I guess truth is stranger than fiction or else you have the best lawyers money cannot buy. Or else 5-0 is smoking crack. God damn, Will sighed. I miss Bella. God damn this. Hangs over me.